Hello everybody, welcome back to Monster Train. I'm not ready to let this series die yet. I'm still having a lot of fun with this game. And there's still so much left to accomplish in a whole freaking clan that we have yet to unlock. We still have to kill like, I don't know, a billion of them. Um, I forgot who it was that we need to go after next. Our primary clan has currently a win with every single allied clan. Uh, sorry, our Awoken primary has a win with every single allied. Um, what we... And, and we have like one pairing on each of these right now. So I think... I don't know, let's just go from here and... Um, dude, have we seriously not... won with the OG, the Hellhorn Awakened combo? How is that possible? How is that even possible? Let's go ahead and depart with this. Let's see what we can make happen. Okay, um... Power Drain Emblem. First spell card played each turn gets consumed. We're getting Fortify, Steel Enhancer, and Inflame. So this is like super buff heavy spells. And then because we're at Covenant rank 6, we get an extra copy of Torch in our deck. You hate to see that. Well, you know that's going to get yeeted pretty quickly, right? Multi-strike or Slay 10? Tough choice, tough choice, tough, tough, tough choice, tough choice, tough choice, tough, tough, tough choice. Um, I think Slay 10 could probably carry us further more quickly. Well, I mean, if we have Steel Enhancer... Every time we use Steel Enhancer on our champion, it just makes him... double the extra power. So he's at 18 now. One Steel Enhancer will give him... It will make the damage match. Slay 10, I think, is just... It's straight up better. At the moment, at least. It it might grow to be different, but I don't know. Grants four stacks of armor each time armor is applied. Seems pretty good. Especially considering we have those fortifies. I have a feeling that card draw is going to be something that's going to be a pretty big problem for us. Uh, so hopefully we can get through this without too much trouble. Lost to the bogs, eh? Mm, know how it feels. Alright, you're starting with ten armor. Can't really say I'm too thrilled about that. Can't really <laughs> do anything here. Uh, great. Ten armor. Ten armor. Ten armor. If we give you rage, you're still not going to kill anybody. And you're taking six damage. Alright. Um, if we put a train steward up top, it's not going to matter. So we'll do that. If we inflame, you get armor 9, which is going to save you from taking damage, which is a good thing in the long run. And... I don't know. It's not the greatest start that we've ever had. At least we have the means to keep our big boy alive for a decent amount of time. It's just unfortunate that every, like, literally everybody is going to make it to the top. Um, you can go here. There's no reason for me to do anything to anybody, really, other than, I guess, maybe put a restore on you, because it's going to keep you alive for a little bit longer. You're probably still going to die when these guys come up anyway. So we're taking a little bit of damage, so what? I have four torches in my deck. What's your excuse? 111 damage, huh? And there's the kill. Yeah, let's go ahead and enhance this guy. Little torch here never hurt nobody. Yeah. Good call. Hey! Strain guy survives! Oh, I, I gotta say, I'm kind of liking... Ritual of Battle, apply Rage 6. For three mana, that feels like super, super weak. Do I get another Fortify? 
Not with the kind of card draw that I have. Do I get an imp? It's good AoE. Yeah, no problem with that, I guess. Restoration, Glimmer. I've got... This is decent AoE as well. I have no idea what direction this deck is going to go at the moment. Demon Fiend, Deranged Brute. Rage on friendly units adds an additional 2 damage per stack. And then uh, Rail Beater, Armor 29, Strike, push the attack unit to the back. What a weird creature. I like the Deranged Brute. Are we going to go with... Are we going to have a Rage build on our hands? I don't know. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. What did I just get? Rage Guy? R Deranged Brute. He cost one. He's got two space. This guy doesn't get a rage. This is the only rage that I have. What have I done? Oh, crap. Which way do I go? <laughs> yeah, let's get a let's get an awoken unit. Animus of will versus animus of speed, huh? Let's go with the animus of speed. I've always liked her. Then we could give her something great. Maybe a large stone? Actually. What if we pair this guy with our champion? 65 health is going to keep him alive for a significant amount of time. Having the rage is going to be pretty sick as well. And then upgrading... Um, I don't know, we can... You know, we can give him even more health. No, 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 no. You get more damage and more health. You get more health. At 90 health, that's going to be pretty good for us. And then if we can, we will try to focus on Rage. Uh, that's going to be in the heart of the RNG. Non-boss enemy units enter with Spikes 3. That's going to be a little bit spicy. But we have the means to heal. It's just unfortunate that you encant. But you know what? Here's the thing we can do. We'll just glimmer you to death. You're still dying, huh? Ooh! I made a mistake! Well, this is something that I immediately hate. The spikes do not feel good. The fact that uh, we've done this to our people here also does not feel good. The fact that we have to cast a restore on... Dude, we're not guaranteed to get a heal. For the next one. We have to cast a restore on you, I believe. Nope, it's gotta be you. It had to be you. It had to be you. Alright. I believe this is the worst hand that you possibly could have given me. Who gets the armor? Let's say it's you. We have one more of those that's coming up. Okay, so only the boss creatures have spikes, which means you're not going to die for a while. Or only the non-boss creatures. Hold on, you have sweep? Oh, that sucks. So this will let you survive for one more turn. Couple more turns. 
And then a regen... Will not let you survive any longer, but it will let... You survive one more turn. Boom. Dead. Good. Hey. Great. This is looking okay. Rituals of battle. Still not a uh, good choice. Hidden passage to ascend a unit. You know what? Let's grab one. We can run with it. Draw one, enhance the drawn card to cost zero. This is an interesting choice. It could be it could be very beneficial. It could also be very bad, but you know what? We're not gonna know unless we take that chance. Friendly units enter with five armor. When a friendly unit is healed, deal damage. Um let's enter with five armor. I know that dealing damage is probably going to be a little bit better in the long run, but getting some free armor is going to be pretty nice to have. And resolve, gain armor 9. You're going to be our second floor tank, I think, because this railhammer is pretty sick. Then again! Branded Warrior. God. Second floor tank. Are we going to have a rage run? I don't know. Ember deposits. What do we take? Free energy, huh? Get three calcified ember now. And get upgraded versions later. Three mana. I really like the abandoned stave. If I had a better deck and I had more confidence, I, I would I would experiment with the calcified things. Because I don't know what they turn into, but I am very interested to find out. TBH. What do you got for me, Daedalus? <laughs> All right, you're currently dying. If we give you steel, en steel enhancer, nothing's gonna happen. You know what? Yeah, that's what I think of you. Realizing now that, uh, hmm, I don't know. That was probably the best choice. Here, we'll save some damage here. Uh, resolve armor nine, huh? This is yeah. You're effectively losing one damage. This is such a good synergy, coming in with nine armor just for freebies, freezies. It's pretty good though. All right, animus of speed. You go down here. I might need to heal somebody here, but with the ranged brute, you're going in the front, and then probably gonna fortify you, to be honest. You're dying. You're taking, like, no damage. Yeah, we think. I think we wanna fortify you some more. Heal you, and train stewards, we can just pile you up top. Higher grow, huh? Uh, there's no room in the bottom. Do I want more space? Yeah, because if, uh, if, if I get the Rage Imp, ooh, that would be really pretty great. Um, no, we, I think, save our train steward and then... Let's see what Pyrogro gets us. Free torch for the rest of the days. Okay. That's good. We let the imp die, I guess. Uh, no need to spin it on here. And they're both dying here. I could just 
you know what? Let's just save him some armor. Nothing's going to happen here. You're going to get a sleigh, though, which is going to be super good for us. Who cares if you're getting encanted? Do you think I care? Do you think I'm worried in the slightest? <laughs> yeah. Right. Me. Worried. Uh, I did not mean to let go of that. I think my mouse's issues are starting to return. Because I was thinking I should probably put it on him. That's a lot of damage. Because, like, if I put it on him, he probably could have killed that one on his own. And then he... But you know what? Let's just do this. Alright, uh, it's already over. It's already over before it started. Yeah, our champion's gonna be, like, MVP. And I figured out a little trick to make things go a little quicker. You hold a right click and it just goes to, like, light speed. It's ridiculous. Awoken's Rail Spike. Draw X. Enhance all cards drawn this way with minus two mana. Impolate. Deal damage equal to the number of M's you have. Or Shard Channeler. Spikes on friendly units. Deal plus one damage per stack. I don't have anything that deals spikes, so I think we're going to go with the Awoken's ra uh, Rail Spike. And, uh, Shattered Shell. Slay plus two damage. Do I want anything right now? Is anything worth grabbing? Alright, I have four mana right now. Um, yeah, I suppose we can get a Shattered Shell for the moment. No. Awoken Hollow. Sure. It can be on the top floor. What we need to do is get rid of our train stewards. Um, we're gonna get more space. That way we have room for imps. Just in case imps decide to pop up. This is a terrible... I really want that unstable vortex, but... It's not worth going for. I guess we can get the money here. Upgrade our champion to have... See, multi-strike is now when it's worth it. I don't know, ma maybe mathematically it still doesn't quite work out. We're skipping this one. And I think on this one... <laughs> Endless Imp, huh? Is that... For that Imp? I don't know about that. <laughs> Four torches. We gotta get rid of one of the train stewards. The torches are more useful than the train stewards. <clears throat> A strength stone on the Animus of Speed. Is that gonna be worthwhile? Would I rather give her multi-strike? Yes. Is it something that's reasonably going to happen? I don't know. We could just upgrade our Steelworker just to be like, you know, slightly better. Slightly tankier. Worry less about him dying. And I suppose we can purge another card. We're not getting rid of the Vengeful Shards. Um, how about another Train Steward? That should be good. That'll give us um, more reason to pick up more creatures. No, I'm not getting the endless for anything. I don't think it's going to be worth it. This one should give us a free artifact. Non-boss enemy units get multi-strike. Honestly, with my large stone boy in the front row, I don't think I care that much. Although it's going to be a little bit worse to deal with on the second row.
But I guess to be honest, what I'm more worried about is um these weights of contrition that are popping gonna be popping up in our deck. You go up here, you go here, you're killing this, and you, oh boy. Yeah, you're gonna take a little bit of damage. We'll find a way to heal you though. I promise you we'll find a way to get you healed. Between these two. We got a nice solid second floor. Most things aren't even going to be able to pop through. Um, if I could get quick on the Hornbreaker Prince, that would be pretty amazing. But for now, we're just going to do this. Continue buffing him up. Do we give you a res No. Glimmer. That was a nice get. That was a real nice get. Unfortunately, we're gonna get another weight of contrition because we're not really able to just like dig through these creatures very efficiently. Which does kind of suck on its own. Um, let's continue healing you. You can just die. That'll stop you from taking too, too much damage. And then uh, we're out of like decent units. So, here's what we can do. Train Steward, you can go here just to be a little bit of a buffer. We don't need imps on that row. And then... Oh yeah, we're out of, we're out of stuff. You can get out of here. Nice. He's got so much health with his armor now. That is super awesome. Uh, this, this one's already done. Dude, making that free forever? Incredible. Yeah, multi-strike. Multi-strike, rage, slay combos. Ooh! Whew. What is this? Oh, this probably gives armor to my pyre. Or to my, yeah, pyre. <laughs> my pyre shard. Hold on, does that mean it starts with 19 armor each battle? <laughs> Impotent work. Important. Why do we keep saying impotent? Impotent? Consume, give rage 3, or rage 4 and armor 9. We already have an inflame. It's honestly a little spicy to use, so let's take that. And... We skip this one. Good call. Yeah. You made the right choice, bro. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Um, unstable vortex. Honestly, we get rid of at least one torch. We'll get rid of another train steward. Once we get those out of our deck for good, it's going to be super nice. And then as far as duplication goes, I think what we would want to duplicate is maybe the Animus of Speed. We could put her up on the top floor. Having a second one's not going to be the worst thing in the world either. I do need to visit a magic upgrade shop because if I could make this better, if I could give this double stack plus cost minus one, that's going to be 18... Actually, it'll probably be, not 18, it'll probably be 14 armor, but 8 rage. The 8 rage by itself is going to be <laughs> incredible. Double stack on that would be really good too. We need to upgrade our glimmer. There's a lot of good stuff that we can do here. Um, but I'm thinking... Maybe another animus of speed. Because if we could get two of those on the middle floor, that could be pretty all right. Is that really what I want? I haven't had any mean or any need for hidden passage though. You know what? Let's duplicate it. That way also, if it comes up in the first hand, we can use it as a mini tank, and then we could elevate it later. 
Enemy units appear on each floor. Do you think I care about your enemy units? My pyre starts with 19 armor. Look at that, 19 armor. It's super free. Dude, your multi-strike is going to just be incredible for us. So you kill two of them. You take nine damage? Oh yeah, because they're attacking first. Um... Yeah, this is fine. We can put you here. We can put you here. Uh, definitely want to heal you, I believe. I mean, we, we have the mana for everything. So... Yeah, just make you beefier. It is unfortunate... The damage that uh, the Pyre's gonna end up with. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta... You gotta accept these things. Like the fact that we cannot play exactly what we want to play on this. Because... We got both of those in our opening hand, and we have to play the Molten Imp right here. I would have liked to play it up here, or down here. No! He's dying! Crap! The right play would have been to play it on the bottom floor. I didn't- I forgot that my champion had the capability of death. So... With that in mind... I'm going to cry. Um... This is going to give us a draw for... What I would really like to do is play my large stone boy, put him here, and then we can put him on the... We can, uh, rise him to the next floor. But I think that can honestly wait. You know, better things have happened, but worse things have happened as well, so... We can at least kill you. The armor gain sucks. But here, let's do this. The fact that we got inflamed to be free, though. That's really good. Especially once we get our deranged brood on this floor. So we're gonna be taking even more damage to our pyre. And it's gonna continue to happen. And we're just gonna keep stacking it on, on you, my friend. You're gonna be our champion. Okay, that's nice. See if we can let him live. I've... I have only myself to blame. <laughs> oh no, the armor. Good, a brief respite. Glimmer is better up here. Just to make him beefier. Because I can honestly torch these fools. Get torched, son! Get torched, son! You're still taking a decent amount of damage. I mean, you're gaining plus two still, so whatever. Heals and damage there. You're still gonna hit us for... 
It looks like 10. But that should be honestly fine. So the strategy that I had, you know, it might not work. Uh, okay. 75, you're dealing 25 apiece. Two steel enhancers are not going to put you above. So at least... At least we can cause you to do some more damage. Ooh, this is not good. Five hundred and twenty four damage. That doesn't change. Okay. Here it goes. I don't know, this might be a loss. This might be where we die. Ninety nine. Give you some armor. Give you some more armor. Uh, healing you gives you plus one health. Actually, we can do all of this. Hidden passage. So we can look back on that one decision that I made to not put the imp on the bottom floor as the moment that this run went down in history as a failure. Demon units get multi-strike one. Oh my God. Well, You know, win streaks come and go, but the knowledge that you have screwed yourself remains forever. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.